Can narcissistic and toxic people be forgiving and let you back in so that things can be the way they were before? Now, I know for a lot of you, this sounds absolutely silly, right? But have some compassion because for some of you, it's a very real question. And if it's a question that's on your mind, then it means that the narcissistic people have accomplished exactly what they set out to accomplish, which is to find a scapegoat, a reason for all of their misery, their pain, and their suffering in life. But we are going to really break this question down. My name is Kevin, and this is The Royal We. Before we talk about whether or not narcissistic people can be forgiving and accept you back in, I want to let you know that I'm here for your support. Down in the description box below this message, you'll find access to my calendar where you can schedule some one-on-one -on -one time with me. If you're new to The Royal We, like this video, subscribe to this channel for more videos on dealing with narcissistic people, family members, in-laws, whatever, friends, coworkers, whomever, right? Because they're out there and we are surrounded. Now then, when it comes to the question whether or not narcissistic people can forgive you, right? And by the way, this comes in all different forms of questions, okay? Can the narcissistic people find forgiveness for what I've said, what I've done? Can they find peace in their heart uh, for what I've done? And, and, you know, can we go back? Can they let me back in? Okay, there's a few things that we need to talk about right away. First of all, this idea of them letting you back in, that assumes that they ever let you in to begin with. Now, typically narcissistic people never let you in. That is their stick. That is their thing in life. This is how they operate. Nobody gets into that darkness that is their world that has existed long before you even met them. I mean, we're talking about the scary monsters and stuff that have existed and lived under their bed since they were the age of two that have haunted them and tormented them and and on and on and on. And you just happen to come across them in your 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. But what you're dealing with is the aggression, anger, hatred, ragefulness, whatever. You never really are let in. They never let you in to begin with. What you are dealing with when you meet a narcissistic person, you're dealing with a facade. You're dealing with a goal-oriented mask. That's really all you're getting. This goal-oriented mask needs supply, whether it's sex, money, whatever the case may be. Uh, affirmation, validation, worship, right? This is who you are meeting. So you're never really let into their life. So you have to understand that. And when it comes to understanding their peace, they never had peace. So really what's going on here is you have to realize that these people you're dealing with, narcissistic, whether they're family members, siblings, whatever, you know, you didn't cause their problems in life. They existed long before you. They will continue to exist long after you. Everybody who comes in contact with these narcissistic people is in some way, shape, or form going to deal with the, this monstrous crazy. You happen to be just one of them. One of the goals of narcissistic people is to, in fact, make you feel like you are the reason for that crazy, that you are the reason for that pain. You are the reason for that suffering. They put that on you. And so if you, if you are asking the question of, will they forgive me? It's the wrong question to ask because you never did anything wrong. It assumes you did something wrong in the relationship and you didn't. You responded the way anybody would respond to being rejected, neglected, betrayed, cussed at, humiliated, called names, yelled at, screamed at, mocked, mimicked, on and on and on. Listen, nobody has to deal with that stuff. It's a painful experience to deal with that. The rejection, the betrayal, the lies, the hypocrisy. And you did what you had to do to stand up for yourself, which looks like silent treatment. It looks like gray rocking. It looks like ghosting. It looks like any, any number of things to step back from the situation and go, whoa, this is crazy. I don't want anything to do with this. And as a result, narcissistic people go, aha, now I have something to really be angry about you. And then they attack you. You're a liar. You're a cheater. You're a manipulator. You're toxic, right? It justifies and it validates now their need to be angry. And you might be saying, but Kevin, but, but when we met, we had so much fun. Well, yeah, because that 
was their goal initially. Their goal was to get supply, sex, money, whatever. Now the goal shifts because that stuff is not as fun. That's not really what is sustainable in a relationship anyways. But now the goal is I need to know why I'm angry in life because it's too hard for them to understand the evils and stuff, whatever happened in their life, right? But but it's easier for them to point at you and say, you're the reason I'm angry. You're the selfish, judgmental, toxic one. And if you feel that way, if they if, if they win, if if it gets to you, then you're left with this question that we're talking about. Will they ever forgive me? Will they have peace? I pray that they'll have peace towards me. Listen, again, what, like I said, it assumes you did something wrong in the relationship. I want to clarify this for you. You are not responsible for a narcissistic person's rage. You are not responsible for their crazy attitudes. You're not responsible for their anger and their frustration in this life. I hope that this encourages you in some way so that you don't have to worry about whether or not they will forgive you and let you back in. Understand that you were never let in to begin with. And further, understand that they're going to be the same. They were angry and miserable before you. They're going to be angry and miserable after you. They just are. All right. Listen, I am here for your support. Down in the description box below this message, you'll find access to my calendar for one-on-one -on -one appointments, FaceTime, WhatsApp, video calls, uh, text message, phone calls. It's, it's all available for you. Head on down there in the description box. Find the links down below. Subscribe if you're new to The Royal We, and I'll be back with more videos for you right here on The Royal We.